Okay, so we're looking at this practice here. This handout looks like this. So this is the first of the actual math. Um, and you're going to see it's not that hard. But I just want to go through a couple of these with you and then I'll assign the rest for homework. So let's look at the first one here. Where's my blank marker? Right here. First one here says a client has ordered 50 milligrams of amitriptyline, but you only have 25 milligram tablets available. How many are you going to give? Easy enough, right? But let's set this up in a way for a more complicated problem, all right? And a way to do that is one of the first things we can utilize in our tool belt on figuring out these problems is a formula. And you do desire over have. And this is always going to be quantity of whatever it is that comes in. It could be MLs, it could be tablets, it could be pills, it could be drops. But this is just whatever. Ours, so if I'm going to plug in the numbers from this first problem, I desire 50 milligrams, right? But I only have 25. And that's supposed to be a, a multiplication there. And it's, it comes in one tablet. So if you divide 50 by 25, you get 2. And 2 times 1 is 2. Easy enough? Everybody follow me? Do I need to write that out? So I would write this formula up here. And it looks like this in shorthand. D over H times Q. And that should be at the top. And I'm looking at it whenever I'm filling out these problems. Thinking, am I using this here or am I using something different? Okay, this is going to be very important. It's the most, most used tool for right now. Desire over have. Commit it to memory. Let's look at quantity of whatever it is you're given. So like, um, it's always going to be one tab, right? Because pills only come in a certain milligram per tablet. Or, you know, pills only come in a certain milligram per pill. But when you start getting in mLs, when you got like, give 50 milligrams of volume and you've got a vial that is 5 mLs, um, it's 1 milligram per 5 mLs, then that Q is going to be 5 mLs. It's the quantity of whatever it's given in. Okay, that's where it's going to start to differ. But that's, that's it. It, it, it shouldn't. You'll, you'll see that this is easy. I'm, it's not difficult. Like you should be just as uh, chillaxed as I am about this. I would tell you if it wasn't. Let's look at the second one, Melissa. Uh, read that out for me. A client ordered 37.5 milligrams of... Dothepin. And so I would recommend writing, I desire 37.5 milligrams, but I only have 75 on hand times one tablet. Okay, and if you divide that, you're going to get 0 0.05, I'm pretty sure. Go ahead, this is when you pull out your calculator. Yeah, so you give a half a tablet. I would recommend for now, not, not saying, oh, that's easy, and just writing it out in your head, I would do the desire over have. So you, 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 you build this into your repertoire. This is the first of about three levels of difficulty for these problems. So you're looking at number three. There you go.
Okay, but you get down to number five. Let's read that one out loud. A client has ordered 0 0.5 milligrams of digoxin. 250 microgram tablets are available. So what do I got? Two different uh, units of measurement, micrograms and milligrams. Okay. So there's two steps to this problem. First step is we got to figure out how many milligrams are 250 micrograms. Well, let's go back to our table I handed out. Okay, or I could do this. I could take the decimal in micrograms and move it to the left three times and say 0 0.250 milligrams. Okay, you follow me so far, Melissa? Milligrams, micrograms. So let's test our theory out. Let's take a thousand because there's a thousand micrograms in a milligram, right? Look on your tables. You got to remember and make sure I'm right. And let's divide that by 250. Or I'm sorry, vice versa. Let's, let's take 250 micrograms and divide that by 1000 and see what number you get. So there's two, we just converted a measurement here in two different ways. I moved my decimal and I divided it by a thousand. Okay, and it's usually a thousand because how many milliliters are in a liter? A thousand. How many micrograms are in a milligram? A thousand. How many milligrams are in a gram? A thousand. How many grams are in a kilogram? A thousand. So very rarely, yeah, very rarely will you ever be using the same thing other than a thousand here. Everybody's like, oh, I, I, I got to convert kilograms to micrograms and vice versa. It's going to be a thousand. You might have to do this three or four times. So what if they had given us, let's just take a hypothetical, 250 microgram tablets are available, but let's say there are five, kilo, or, um, let's say five uh, kilogram tablets that are available. That's a long way to convert from micrograms to kilograms, right? Because we just... Uh, Earlier, I think we determined there was a million micrograms in a kilogram, right? This is kind of, this, this should make your brain hurt, all right? But this is what, this is, if you can get this down, then you've got everything. So we need to go from micrograms to milligrams to grams to kilograms. We got to go this many steps. All right. And so there is 0 0.250. We got this because we took 250 and we divided it by 1,000. So what's 0 0.250 divided by 1,000? Okay, so this was microgram measurement. This was milligrams. This will be uh, grams. And this will be kilograms. Hang on, Alyssa. Keep that number up there. Okay, so point what? That was grams. So take that and divide that by a thousand. And I bet you're going to be six zeros back. Yeah. Remember, we only used, we only moved three for a thousand. Okay. So I went. One, two, three, one, two, three. If I started right here the last time, I went one, two, three. And if I started right here in this step, I went one, two, three. Man, that's, that's, that's third grade stuff. Okay. You might be, so you just saw an example right here, number five of a question where you had to take micrograms to milligrams. You, you will see some problems that will take you micrograms to grams or milligrams to kilogram or gram to gram, but usually you won't see anything like this because that's kind of ridiculous. If a doctor's writing kilograms for a microgram dose, that's when your red flag should be going off. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's kind of just the, this is peeling back the curtain of where you might see a challenge from a question. You need to make sure you read the questions because that can sneak in there on you. We will sneak, I will sneak that in there on you. Okay, changes in units. 
let's move down here and look at another couple i'm going to look at well, i think that's good i think you have everything you need to finish this assignment okay circle your answers so if your answer is one tablet i want you to circle that show me your math i want to see desire over half times q yeah you can use calculator um that's it for that that's homework let's look at another one here let's let's turn it up a notch